What's up guys, this video is gonna be six quick tips on things that you can do to keep your chickens happy and safe in the winter. All right, number one, the most important thing to keeping the chickens safe in the winter is to keeping them dry. So if they can go through really cold weather, they're, they're birds, right? Imagine the little tiny birds sitting up in a tree. These guys are pretty big, they're hardy. They can take the cold, but they can't take, if, they can't take it if they're wet. So the key is to keep them dry. There's a couple ways that you can do that. One is to make sure you get them up off the ground, right? So they're in, these chickens are in this chick shaw, so they're up off the ground. They've got roosts in there. My chicken's in the coop over there. I'll show you in a second. They have roosts that are up high in the coops. So they can get up off the ground as well, too. You want to have ventilation. It's okay to have the wind broken, like those white panels that are blocking the wind, but it's still halfway open. The, the floor is open in this thing, so there's plenty of air that can get through this chickshaw so if the chickens do get wet they'll be able to get dried off and that's important second tip is enough calories right so these these chickens are burning up a lot of calories when they're out here in the cold just to stay warm it's one of the reasons why they don't lay as many eggs obviously the sun is another one but they need more food so give them some extra food during the morning give them some more food at night if you want to make sure they have enough calories they need to stay warm in the cold nights to go along with the food issue you want to try to get them some greens too we let our our other flocks get out sometimes and they get up they, they get into the grass and they'll get some greens that way but we'll try to give them some greens um, during the winter as well because they don't get that unless it's the spring or summer you also want to give them a different variety of foods too uh, and also keep them somewhat entertained so i've got this idea here i'm going to take some uh some beef fat that i've got over here see if these girls might like that so i got that beef to it got that beef to it hanging there See if they jump for it. You want to get it? We're thinking about it. Now come on. Anyway, you want to give them something that they can occupy themselves with. Another good idea would be to hang a head of cabbage down somewhere where they have to jump up to get to it, and they'll pick at that throughout the day. If you got chickens and it snows, you'll notice that they don't like to walk around in the snow. They will if it's like 30 or 40 degrees outside, but if it's colder than 20 degrees, they're just not going to walk on it. What you might need to do is to either shovel out a little area where you put the food down for them so they can walk onto the ground, or if it's really deep, if you're in like two feet of snow, you might have to throw out some straw on top of the snow and they'll go on top of that. You could throw some, some scratch or some seeds onto the straw beds and then they will kick it around and you know spread out the straw for you or for themselves that way too. So you wanna keep them up off the snow, it's another, another tip. Also, deep bedding. So here's my other flock, my original flock, the OG chickens. These guys are on deep bedding. If you look, I see I've got the logs around the outside and you can totally tell, that's like a foot of bedding in there. Right, so from the ground to where you go up in there. I've got this sheer board to keep the bedding from coming out the door. So inside here, where I've got this deep bedding, what happens in deep bedding? It's composting, right? And composting is a heat generating activity. So there's the temperature on, on, this, deep, on this deep bedding is warmer than the temperature of the ground out here. So by doing that, you've give, you're giving the chickens a little bit of extra heat as well as building the compost in the ground. What you got there? Find a piece of turkey or something? What are you eating? Ooh, a feather. That sounds good. If you're still watching this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so, and you will find out that we have lots more videos like this, or I'm making more videos like this, and we would really appreciate it. So the last tip that I've got for you, it's probably one of the most important ones, is to make sure that they have adequate water, right? So these 20 degree days, right now I think it's 25 degrees out here, it's pretty cold. On these 20 degree days, any water that you have out here is going to be a frozen ice block and the chickens cannot drink that, but they need to have water. Just like they need food, they need to have adequate liquid water. There's a couple different ways you can do that. You can buy a heat water heater from the store, or you can make one. And I've actually got a video here, I'll put it in the description here on the screen and I'll also put it down below. But I just put together this water heater about a week or two ago and here it is right here. I've got it plugged in to the house, right? It's just got a heat trace tape around the inside bucket. Uh, there's two buckets here, one inside, one outside. Between the two buckets, I've got a heat trace tape. On the inside bucket, I've got attached these nipples, and you'll see fresh liquid water coming out of there. So this is a way that the chickens can be able to get water all year long. It's very important that they have that uh, so they don't die. It's so cold. All right, thank you for watching. I'm gonna put a link to the video for that heater, that chicken water heater that I just built on the screen now for you. If you wanna check that out, that'd be great. If not, give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out some other videos that we got thank you so much for watching take care bye it's like they don't like my uh a food hanger upper <laughs>